Okay. All right, so our first topic of today is going to be about the Samsung Galaxy S8. Now, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is going to have a 5.8 inch screen for the regular and a 6.2 inch screen for the plus. The phone will still maintain the traditional Samsung look that so many fanboys adore. So you're not going to be missing that traditional touch if you're an actual avid Samsung Galaxy fanboy or consumer. I also want to mention that actually Samsung removed the boundaries for the screen. So um, it's called the Infinity Display and it's an end-to-end -end screen and it kind of spills over to the phone sides, which is very impressive. Now, the only problem is that will you like accidentally, you know, screw up some sort of app or click on some app by accident by touching the sides or placing your thumb on the uh, side of the phone? Who knows? To be honest, they even seem to have added uh, a intelligent AI called Bixby, which is supposedly going to assist you throughout your usage of this phone. It's going to be waterproof. This is just standard at this point. You can expect it from all upcoming Galaxy S phones. They're just all going to be waterproof for the most part. Our next topic of today will be about the movie It. Now, I am so excited to watch this movie, but um, a lot of people have been commenting on Pennywise's lack of dialogue and well, to be honest, we're just going to have to wait for the movie to be released to actually see where it goes. But so far, the trailer has been fantastic. Expect this movie. I know a lot of people usually say remakes tend to be worse than the original. But in this case, for this Stephen King movie, trust me, you should give it a chance because the writer and the director are both phenomenal people. <laughs> Quick transition. We are going to be talking about Game of Thrones. Now, Game of Thrones, as if you guys don't follow the HBO hit show, has been booming because they released a new promo for their season seven. Now, in this new promo, we see Jon Snow, Cersei Lannister, Daenerys Targaryen, Breaker of Chains, Mother of Dragons, uh, King of the Andals and the First Men, Mother Misa, whatever, right? So many titles, jeez. We see her and uh, we see every single one of them individually walking through a hallway and it kind of it kind of i think what it was trying to represent was the power struggle that was going to take place between those very important characters also on the news if you haven't been following prank invasion made a fake muslim prank now it is clear one of the actors went on to h3h3's podcast and spoke about uh, the way she was selected for this casting how it is completely staged and how she wasn't very comfortable doing it, which is very brave actually to come up and express your point of view on something that people are giving a lot of heat on. That's admirable. So thank you. This is just a very quick update on how the week is going, what's fresh in my book. And uh, I just hope you guys keep it pimping. Or no, I'm not gonna say that. I, just didn't say, I can't say like some keep calm moves because that's just, that's just, it's not dank anymore, you know? We got, wrong, nah, wrong is, that's not dank either. We need we need a dank, fresh meme, you know? Something that we can invest in. Eh, I don't know. Come up with some dank meme for me. 